Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Harris Hope and Humor. This is our Married at First Sight episode 4. For season 11. Season 11, episode 4. These are our thoughts. Because it's not really a review, right? Just our thoughts. I'm not calling it a review. What do you mean? Okay. It's our thoughts. Um, so, this was what Leon anticipated, which is a very blase episode. We could have definitely done without it. Um, but we'll just go through all of the couples and see if anything prediction wise has changed for either of us. So it starts off with Bennett and Amelia, who are like the cutest little couple. Um, what we learn in this episode is that Bennett likes to sleep in a dress. <laughs> and it's like a it's like an oversized shirt, but like a gown. Like it's it kind of reminds me of like the olden days where they used to have like the candles yeah. on the stick, but like solid color, not like a print or anything. It's definitely reminiscent of somebody that's in theater. Yes, and, and she they say like theater. She comes to bed and like they have like the pipe. Mm -hmm. She comes to bed in like green and black plaid, like a green and black. Uh, what's that onesie. print? It's a onesie, but what's that print called? The the Christmassy one. Lumberjack. Close enough. Um, but in this episode week, all of the couples, it's their first night together, and then they go have br breakfast or brunch with their in-laws, and they don't go together. Now, that was the one thing that I do, did not care for with this episode, was I almost feel like, and this is probably terrible wording, they just kind of throw them to the wolves. Like, to kind of just not know like I just met you yesterday and now yeah. I'm going to go sit with your family who I just met yesterday as well yeah. and have to hear their thoughts and feelings and questions it almost just felt like an interrogation and I I didn't care for that part of it but when Amelia goes to talk to Bennett's family um of course because they're all different um the mom is like so intense in her questions about like how did she feel about him does she like him were they was was it easy to talk yeah. to each other i don't know if that's the stepdad or the real dad but he just kind of sits there and he's just like i'm just he's here a typical man. We just i'm, sit there I'm here because i'm supposed to be like i'm just gonna take it all in the sister brought her a gift but it was like a lollipop that she wrapped in a napkin don't know if i understood the significance behind it but the interesting thing that the sister brings up is that bennett finds it unethical to have children naturally and so you kind of wonder, like, ooh, is this going to be... It's that noise. Yeah, is that... I got to... And so you wonder, like, oh, my God, is this going to be what makes them not make it because they're so cute, and yeah. you know, for everything else. Um, I also don't like the fact that I feel like it's not really their place to kind of, like, throw these things on the spouse. Like, let them organically kind of... And I get that it's only eight weeks, but, like, again, it's the night after the wedding i doubt that they had a conversation about children yeah. the night of the wedding yeah. like they're trying to figure out each other's favorite color first not like oh, they're figuring out a national park too <laughs> <laughs> no that was the friends i'm sorry that was the friends not like whether or not they're going to have children and i feel like that's just like a heavy thing to like have and to I wonder, hear from but somebody I wonder else if the the families do it just because they might because it, it sparks a conversation because you go home you be like so I heard something interesting like what if Bennett would have never came out and said that I mean that's true you know what I'm saying they may know like Bennett might not be a confrontational person so he might not have ever said that like she got pregnant he'd be like I didn't want to have a kid I feel like for it for as serious as he is seems about it I doubt that he would have not have brought it up true the problem I have is like I feel like that whole I think people have a uh, tendency to be more like oh I only want one versus like I want six as like more casual about that as mm -hmm. opposed to like I plan on putting my penis in your vagina but I do not plan on impregnating you like I don't think that that's something you like not bring up and he just seems a little too genuine to not yeah. be open about it but I don't like that I still don't know what kind of doctor she is 
So she hasn't done her residency. So I guess that was part of maybe that's why we don't know. Picked, maybe she hasn't picked. I mean, I would think that if she's doing a residency, she would have a specialty in mind. I know, but, but I, want, I want to know. Maybe not. You're on the show, I need to know. But I maybe gotta follow you the, the fact rest that of my she life. did. <laughs> the fact that she didn't disclose that, like the fact that she didn't disclose the type of doctor she was, I feel like that's like now knowing that she didn't do her residency, I feel like that explains why it hasn't been. Like, oh, she's a cardiologist. She's a... It's probably part of the editing. Something's going to happen with this later on. Something that's going to probably come up later on. So that conversation comes up when Bennett meets her family yeah. to find out, like, she applied for a residency in New Orleans where they are, Virginia, mm-hmm. and is another place that they wanted them to pick because... Wanted her to pick because it's closer to them. Now, An- Annapolis, that's in... Um, yeah. That's... But that's another conversation. So I I just feel like again, and you know, it could be it could be the producers. It could just be part of like how to create, not just necessarily say drama, uh-huh. but conversations for the show. Um, but I just I'm not a huge fan of it. I just think that that did not. I not that did not need to. It happen. is like meddling in, in a marriage. Yeah, I think in previous seasons they went to brunch together, mm-hmm. and then both of the families kind of got to like meet each other, and it was just more of a casual. Because then you kind of give your spouse the opportunity to protect you, and then that's a learning curve too to see how they would respond to if to things that their family may do yeah. that you may not be comfortable with. Like I just, but he did say he would. He would, you know, he feels like, he feels like right now in the very infancy of their relationship. That his answer was cute. He oh, was kind of. I would of, never say that. But, um, I would never say, I would never say his answer was cute. I know you wouldn't, that's why I said <laughs> it. His answer was really cute. He said that he anticipated, like, like falling, falling in, in love, love with her. her and, and so he would be open to it. Which is, again, I feel like I feel a little bad because he has a theater company. So then what does that mean for his aspirations and dreams if he's following hers? It's all about love. You give it up. I, I do think that they have great communication thus far that, like, I would like to see how this unfolds beyond the show. Mm-hmm. I hope that they make it. My prediction hasn't changed because I didn't really learn much about no. other than I learned more about the families than the actual couple. She so, has a guitar. And she took on the, she's taking on a honeymoon. That's her. Uh, so, I mean, I didn't, I'm, it's like I didn't do my homework. I didn't really hear a lot of the episode. But, uh. You were parenting two children <laughs> as we were trying to watch this. So, I have bad hearing, time, so. Like, catching it all. Um, um, but yeah, she's a guitar. That's, that's what I picked up. I uh, thought that was interesting. Who's our next couple? What's the, the cat people? I don't they know are Olivia they next, but, and oh, Brett. Brett. Um, next, um, I don't remember. What did we learned about Olivia and Brett. I don't really feel like we learned anything. I think they're the most boring couple on the Let episode. Let me of the dig season. a little deeper here. I feel like they are low key boring. I think her dad talked to him about some stuff, but I really don't remember anything about their conversation. Oh, yes, she was born Christian, and he's atheist. He is an atheist. Oh, yes. Now yes. he doesn't assign with any religion, um, so that was an interesting topic. Um, yeah, they're not gonna make it. Um, I don't think they're gonna make it. They might again. They might be that one couple that makes it that you just forget about because they're so boring. I think she she uh, she was saying she like she feels like she likes them and they had a good chemistry, but I just feel like after a while he's bored. I don't even think he's bored. I just feel like his personality is not going to mesh and gel with her. I feel like she's not going to want to. She's not going to be patient. Not, not going to say not be patient enough, but she's not going to want to put in the work to to learn them. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's just my opinion. Mm-hmm. I am curious. Um, not in no way, shape, or form do I want to question question her Christianity, but I am curious as to what she put on like the papers and like why she's open to if my assumption is that she is open to dating outside of her religion mm-hmm. and um so that's it and why because that is that is huge especially well, christian to especially that don't believe in a, yeah, yeah i feel like that can really change 
how you operate, um, how you handle difficult situations. But then you gotta wonder what he put on there. You gotta wonder what he put on there because he did say he was raised Christian, and now he doesn't affiliate with anything. But he understands Christian values and morals. So and you gotta wonder what he said in like, his did interview. Say Christian? Yeah, and you gotta wonder like, what. Yeah, you know I'm saying like, what did he say that they the, the uh, experts thought it was oh, okay? They'd be all right. Yeah, we can do unequally yoked for them. But as a a couple who's been married going on six years now, um, I think we kind of, and we're Christians. I think we kind of see how like that plays a factor oh, in yeah. uh, everything we do. Like yeah. you know. Because we put God first, and um, if one of us didn't, it would be interesting. Yeah. And, you know, we have hard moments. We pray together. We pray for each other. Um, you know, you kind of bring it into how you raise your child. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, even just us picking God parents for her was, like, it's still a process because we take that seriously. responsibility seriously. So, yeah, it would be interesting to see how, um, if and how it plays a factor in their marriage. But I'm sorry that we don't got nothing else for y'all about them because I just I don't remember, and I feel like they was born. I feel like they were they were born when they come on. It's like skip. And like she sat with his family, and I think that was the dad that was just like you know, or was it the brother that just had all these jokes? But she was just kind of no. That was actually Christina and her husband, which we can do them next. Christina met with what's his name? Christina met with Henry. Yeah, Christina. Christina. Christina loved Henry. Henry's dad. Yes. She Love. thought that he was like, I don't, you never know what's going to come out of his mouth. Yeah. And he's just so funny, but you can tell he just cares so much. I would find his dad annoying. I think, because I, I get the vibe that it's like, he has to be funny. Mm-hmm. And I don't like people who are trying that hard to be funny. I'm going to purposely not laugh because you tr- you're doing too much. You're trying too hard. Like, and I just feel like... And then I feel like some people are really awkward and like they're they stare at you, mm-hmm. waiting for you to laugh. And I'm just <laughs> yeah, that is the annoying. Part. I'm not. Nope. Nope. I said no. something funny. No. Um, but did we learn anything about her when he met with her family? I don't even remember her family. I'm telling you, man. I hate this episode on all the seasons. This is the episode I skip. I just want to know where they're going on vacation. They're um, going to Mexico. No, but this, this oh. is all I look forward to when this episode comes So that comes was kind of cute. She's excited that... Oh, yes. He hasn't she, traveled. He hasn't traveled before um, using a passport. And... She's been all over. She's been a lot of places. So she's really excited to have this first experience with him. Mm-hmm. But I'm also kind of like red flag insert the music when she was kind of like I'm just looking at this as like a good time like the honeymoon even though it's supposed to be I don't know if she's really thinking like I'm married and I should get to know my husband or am I just seeing this as like another vacation with this dude I just I mean, happened to be married I feel to. like well given how it started off it felt like you just with this dude because he just he's just really different and I hope it doesn't like I hope it doesn't mess it up. But I, I feel like they got a vibe kinda, towards the end of the episode. They seem yeah. like they started working and it out. And they started having like drinks and stuff. And I feel like that might have helped. Yeah, I feel, like they, I feel like their they, they uh, chances are better. Their chances are better. Man. Their chances are better. Like by this much probably though. Well, I feel like their chances are good. But I, like the honey, again, I feel like for me. The honeymoon was probably one of my favorite the honeymoon, episodes. Yeah, the honeymoon episode. And it's like two, three episodes. The honeymoon is the, the honeymoon sets the. No, I think it's like two episodes. Oh, okay. Go ahead. The honeymoon sets the tone, I think, for the marriage. For what's to come after. Yeah, for the eight weeks, we'll say. Not the marriage, but it'll set the tone for yeah. how rocky it'll be, how bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's rocky honeymoon, it's normally hard to turn that around. It's very hard. Watching yeah. just the seasons. Yeah. Um, just watching. Yeah. It's, it's hard to turn it around. But if it's an okay, because you, know, you ain't expecting everybody to have a magical honeymoon. Everybody just don't click. It just takes some time. So, uh, I do like that one of the things they changed over the seasons is having them honeymoon together. I think that that kind of seems to help a little bit because then you don't it? feel. Oh, yeah, I'm getting Well, because I feel no, like I'm you don't feel confused. like uh, alone in your experience. And then if you are having a bad moment, like you know that the other couples are there to kind of vent to. And, no, like, you're right. No, I was getting shows confused. I was thinking about Netflix and the other girl who liked the other, the other guy. <laughs> 
I, I got blind. Yeah, again. I got yeah, I got that confused. <laughs> um, um, I don't like where they live in all in the same complex. I don't know why. It just annoys me. Really? Yeah, it's weird. And then they 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 take the. That's for the next episode. That's for that, three episodes now. That episode. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. I'll see my talks on that. Um. So, but yeah, I think they'll. I think they'll have a better chance of making it. Um. Miles and Karen. Yes. Uh, Miles' mom met with Karen, and she was. Uh, not Wait, yet. let's back up a little bit. Because it starts with them um, in the honeymoon suite. Well, in their. Yeah, I guess their honeymoon suite or whatever. Woody and um, uh, oh, yeah, what is her Woody name? Amani. Amani come in to like say hello, which is kind of cute. Um, and Karen's like exhausted. She's practically falling asleep in her wedding dress. And it's not that it was a lot to even add, but just kind of like seeing how he is like nurturing to mm -hmm. her. And like he was like rubbing her feet and like he kind of like went to sleep at the foot of the bed. They didn't stay long. Um, but I kind of feel like it kind of gave off. Like you just kind of can tell he's like real in his approach. Like he don't seem like he's like trying too hard or faking any of it. He seems really natural at it. Almost as if they didn't just meet that day. You can have a different opinion. I do. I don't know. I mean, I just feel like, you know, you do what you gotta do in the beginning. In the beginning? Yeah, not not you do what you gotta do, but you know, some guys, they just, right, I'm just do this. And then after a while, they're like, alright. They fall off. So we'll see. That's what y'all do? Not intentionally. I, I fell off the way. I fell off some of the things I did in the beginning. I mentioned that. It, ain't, it wasn't to get you. It just, I had a kid. That's it. I'm in a wheelchair. I ain't have a daddy. Um, all these excuses. So then we see. Funny. Then we see Karen meet his his parents. First of all, I maybe it's black parents. I'm just gonna say I think it's the black parents. They just be doing the most because Karen meets his parents and his sister, mm -hmm. and the mom is like such a griller. I don't want to say boy mom because not maybe not all boy moms are like this, especially because she's married. Because I almost wanted to say a single boy mom, but. I don't want to label nobody and I don't want to label no population in no type of way that's going to get me canceled. But she comes across very like extra like ma'am. Well are you going to do this and if you can't do that then I can pick up the pieces. And it's like can I just eat my bacon? <laughs> I just met him. Yes, yes. I mean they protective. And the dad just be like you just sit there, Jay. No, but the dad kind of comes and has that vibe of like, if you don't cut that cord and let that man be a man, like, stop. Oh, yeah, because he said he was a mom. He didn't realize he called every day. He didn't realize his son called a mom every day. She was like, yeah, he called every day. He's like, you got to stop that now. He got a wife. You better call his wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, and then Miles. Miles. Oh, and her yeah. It's all no. It's the black pants period because her mom was like, I, who? you know, I wasn't on board with this. Okay. Hold on, you can tell by my face. I'm serious. Right. <laughs> Looking like Foxy Brown. <laughs> and then he was like, he said that he considered himself to be like a decent guy or something. I, saw, I forgot exactly how he worded it. And she was like, well, why would you say that about yourself? He can't be. He can't be confident. That's part of what's problem with the world now. That y'all keep letting people think that they can't be confident in who they are as a person. Why? They gotta humble themselves. Wow. Um. Yeah, they just they they grilled. They both got grilled. And then they were after afterwards. They were like, "Oh, he seems like a really nice guy. I guess he's like he's gonna take care of her and blah 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 blah." Y'all don't chill. This is why we don't like this episode. Too much. I feel like it's a fluff. We just need to like fill out a certain amount of week type of episode. So moving on. Do you think they're going to make it? Um, I don't feel like my prediction changed at all. Well, maybe a smidge. I think, I think that she seems a little bit more uh, interested than she did at first. Yeah, I think she admitted I that too. I think she kind of appreciates the little nuances that he has about himself. Yeah. 
but I, I also think it's hilarious that these black women somehow got their hair braided after brunch before they got on the plane. Like Imani had a full set of box braids. When did this happen? What time was this plane leaving that oh, you had enough time to get magic. your hair braided? And did y'all call the same person? Like, the producers <laughs> already spilled the beans about who Karen was married. So they probably spilled the beans early enough. The girls was like, yo, I need to know if I need my hair braided or no. For where we're going. We, if I can get this wetter. This is the first season we've seen people get their hair braided. Between like. You the other over there knows? No I feel like the other years. The other seasons. They like well Deanna had natural hair. I feel like Iris had natural hair. Um, what's your girl from last season? Honest. What is her name? She had. She wore her hair really natural. She, she knew she hair. wasn't going to be doing nothing. I just feel like everybody else already seemed prepared for whatever the honeymoon was going to be in terms of like hair. And they did full blown like, I'm going to take this weave out and I'm going to get my hair braided. Not just take this weave out. Like I, they didn't just pull a unit off and was like, I'm ready to go. They, they sat there and got their hair braided. Like I was like, let me watch the wedding again and make sure Imani didn't have braids just last week because I'm almost certain she did not. <laughs> but, um... Imani and Woody. Woody meets the dads again. The dads again. And they seem to like I mean, I feel like they already liked him, so it really yeah. wasn't much work he had to do there. Yeah. She meets his family, which was like the mom, the aunt, the grandma. It was a whole crew. Oh people. yes, I had to remember. Yes. Yes, and it was like five people. They kind of scared her a little bit talking yeah. about his temper and how he gets when he gets upset, how he goes from like zero to a hundred. And she definitely, I think she can handle it. I just don't think that, I don't want to see it happen that she has to handle it. But I feel like every time. I feel like that's unrealistic that she's not going to see that side well, of Well, the way that they said it was they very said it, like. They said it, yeah, but. Like almost like she had to walk but the But the funny part, the mom me. said it. The grandma was looking at her like, shut up. Oh. Well, the grandmom had that typical black grandmom response that you don't talk our business out in these streets with these cameras out here. I told y'all I was going to come, but I didn't tell you we was doing all of this. Grandma was looking at her daughter like, if you don't stop telling that boy business, he good to live with. That's, that's how she had, like, that's my baby. Don't talk about my baby like that. That's exactly how the grandma yeah, looked. Yeah, was scared. And I, don't, I mean, I feel like it's realistic. You people, people got, listen. It's realistic, but that don't make it right. But he did, so, okay, so then they all meet up together and discuss how their lunch brunch breakfast was with the family and she she brought it up mm -hmm. she yeah, was she like should. so yeah this is which i give her a lot of credit for because i don't know if i would have that soon if it was somebody i just met excuse me um and his response was acceptable yeah i hope he's like real. explained it he said that he's been in therapy and he's learning more techniques and he's learning, I guess, like a healthier way of like coping. But he also feels like he's happier that he won't have those outbursts type of things. So that's why I'm hoping that it just doesn't even happen. But can we go back to Miles and Karen? Because I feel like when the next episode, this is not it's similar. She's worried because he's never been in relationships. Like I think that's like the prelude. She's worried, mm. and so I wonder. I wonder how many relationships Woody has been in that if he had to curtail his anger. You know what I'm saying? If it's just like friends or whatever, like he could he could explode. Like, you know, then you gotta go home and live with him. So I wonder, you know what right. I'm saying? Like But I would think that you would be and again it's not right, but I would think that if it's somebody that you're not really in a relationship with that you really wouldn't even why would it even bother you that much for you to explode like that? As opposed to somebody you really care about. I don't know. So I would think more the opposite that like if he really cares about her, I can see how if you're passionate about something that can make you kind of want to explode. But if it's somebody that you just like, this is just who I'm with this week. Like I can't imagine that being a reason why you like. But they almost like the family just really said it. It 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 came across a little scary to me the way they they were like, yeah, you just don't know what version of him you're gonna get, and like you don't know what'll upset him, and you just be like, well, wh what in the. Um, so, and which I don't like because I feel like they come across as such a, an adorable match thus far. I still, I'm, I got, I feel like how you thought all along talking about us, the other shoe going to drop. He's just too excited. So, no, I just, I just feel like the mix of them two. I, I don't blame it all on him. I feel like her, um, uh, I'm surprised she's as open and 
comfortable as she is right now. I wouldn't. I wouldn't expect her to be. And she well, thinks she really, surprised. Maybe she really came into this. No, but yeah, I think he is making her feel comfortable. Which I'm getting. I'm hoping doesn't he doesn't do something to break the trust. That's what I'm saying. I just I'm I'm, I'm worried about them. I'm watching. I'm worried that it's, again, it's just gonna be the smallest little thing, and she can be like, Mm-mm, no, sir, I don't do that. She's gonna hit you with that high pitch voice, and it's gonna be a wrap. Her voice is a little high pitch. That's a voice. Um, you smacking? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the bed smacking, and she was like, I, I, "It ain't that good." <laughs> that voice, boy. I'm, I'm, I'm a thing about voice. I have certain voices. Oof. Really? Oh, voices. Oh, voices hurt me. I mean, I could see how that would be like. Voice, and I'd hear my voice in my body. I'm like, ah, my voice is irking. But some voices. I, I find my voice to be a little irking, but I think I'm getting used to it after, like, since doing this. Yeah. I'm like, that's just how I sound. It just is what it is, girl. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing you can change about it. Um. So, yeah. So, back to the after conversation. So, we should have did it as each couple happened. But we'll just go back to the things. Well, really, there's only one other thing I really want to tell y'all because the other couple was born. But Ben and Amelia does have the conversation about the kid, the uh, having children, and he feels that there's so many children in the in this world that already need homes and families that he just feels like we're and we're already overpopulated that like we shouldn't have kids naturally because we could they could just adopt. Oh, see, I missed that. So he kind of he kind of cleans it up in a way that I'm like. I can kind of see that. That definitely makes sense. But I do feel like it's, um, it could be heartbreaking if she, if she really wants to have her own, because that was something that was important to me. We had decided when we did our IVF cycle that we wanted to have a child naturally. We didn't want to do adoption and we didn't want the kid to not be both of ours. Um, but she does respond in a way that was like, she does want to have a kid. Um, but she is also open, open to, to adoption. adoption. Mm-hmm. But he also was open to her having a kid naturally if that's what she wanted. He didn't want to take that from her. Yeah. So, beautiful, 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 beautiful. So, we rooting for the black couples in Amelia and Bennett. The other two, I don't know, man. I want everybody to succeed in their marriage. I just don't see it happening based upon what we've seen from the edits from the show. That's what I just said. I'm saying I want all of them to be happy. Same difference. I'm just trying to think of cancer. Everybody cancer. <laughs> they cancer you for the little snake, boy. Wop! Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next, next episode. Week.